to my channel so today I am going to be sharing with you guys some of the things that I have currently used up so if you haven't seen my previous videos that I've done like this I'll link it down below so you can check it out but what this basically is is it is a video showing you all the products that I've used up and as much as I love watching favorite videos and sharing with you guys what I'm really loving using I think there's a super satisfying feeling in when you actually finish using a product so I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the products that I have recently completely finished and that um, whether I want to repurchase them or if it was just kind of like a one-time buy so I hope you guys enjoy this if you want a full list of the products that I am speaking about make sure to check out my blog there'll be a blog post corresponding with this video it'll be down below um, I'll list all the products that there so check it out without further ado I'm gonna go ahead and get started with showing you the products that I have used up so I'm going to first start with a few hair things that I've used up. The first thing that I have used up, oh, look who's in the video. Look who's made an appearance. Oh, she wants to be the star. Yep, there she is. Yeah, that's actually, she's the star of this video. Anyways, she's going to sit there because she knows I'm recording. Anyways, the first product that I have used up is the Tresemme um, Luxurious Moisture for Dry or Dull Hair Shampoo. And um, I have used this up just because it was actually a shampoo that I just grabbed because I needed to get a shampoo and I wasn't really thinking of anything. And um, it is very moisturizing, I do believe in that. I don't know if I'd repurchase it, it was more like just to buy a shampoo because I was about to run out and I just needed one to wash my hair the next morning so nothing special but you know for a um, salon brand trust me isn't bad I do use some of their hair products so I would recommend it but I'm not going to repurchase this particular shampoo again so the next hair product that I have used up is this pretty little pink thing that's really helped my hair grow and it is by Lee Stafford and it is uh, for hair that never grows past a certain length treatment. So this is not a conditioner, it's actually a leave-in kind of conditioner in the shower. So what you're supposed to do with this is you're supposed to wash your hair, shampoo as normal, and then um, you take like a uh, little sized amount, I wouldn't say too much, but like a little amount in your in the palm of your hand and then you massage it into your scalp and then once you massage it into your scalp you leave it for a few minutes and then after that um, you just rinse and condition if you want to as normal. I don't condition because it is pretty nourishing and I don't want to get my hair oily or greasy right after a wash so I just use this kind of as a conditioner. Um, my hair has grown tremendously with this product and I've started to use a lot of other Lee Stafford products so if you do um, want to grow your hair out or maybe your hair just stops growing at a certain point and you try and get it longer I would recommend his products um, I get them from Boots I'm pretty sure you can get them from most drugstores or um, online as well I'm pretty sure that you can go on Amazon but I get it from Boots and there's always like a three for two deal at Boots for his products so I have a shampoo conditioner all that kind of thing so I highly 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 recommend his products if you're trying to grow your hair out so the next body thing I have to share with you guys is Frank's coffee scrub and this is a coffee scrub that you can purchase online I believe that they are made in Australia and it is a coffee scrub as I said and what it is is ingredients. It says, I'm made in Melbourne, Australia. I'm vegan and I only test on babies. So what's in included is coffee, um, a few different oils, and yeah, it's all natural. As I said, it's vegan and it's going to be great for flaking off dry skin. But what I particularly wanted to use this product for is cellulite. So I know that every woman on this planet, no matter how skinny or fat you are, everyone has cellulite problems. So I wanted to use this product to basically try it out on my bum and thighs to make sure and see if I exfoliate with coffee scrub, it would help with the cellulite. So coffee has caffeine in it, obviously, and with this caffeine, um, it's supposed to stimulate your um, skin turnover or your fat turnover, I should say, and it basically encourages your cellulite 
to go away. Um, obviously nothing is better than a bit of exercise, but I thought to help that along, I would use this as an exfoliant. Um, I do use it all over my body in the shower. It does get messy, I'm not gonna lie. It's not the cleanest or nicest process when you're rubbing coffee grounds all over your body. But it is a nice moisturizer, and because there are so many oils in this as well, it's um, super hydrating as well, so I would recommend it if you are looking for a new full body exfoliant. Um, it is, again, made in Australia, but I believe they ship worldwide. I'll link it all down below if they do. Um, I will be repurchasing this. I love them. And um, what I really, really love is that this packaging, by the way, is waterproof. So when you take this package into the shower with you and you scrub your body and everything, you don't have to worry about like this paper bag falling apart in the shower because that would really suck. So the next product is a face product and it is by La Rocher-Posay and it is just a gel mousse uh, face cleanser. So I um, wash my face or use mostly uh, Kate Somerville products for my skincare line, but I do um, wash my face in the shower as well, and I like to leave just a um, gentle face wash in the shower. Um, I'm not really picky on the brand or anything, I usually try out something new every time, and um, I use my um, Clarisonic in the shower, so that's why I just want a gentle cleanser along with it, and I just got this, and um, I do like the brand, I do have a few other face things from them as well. Um, again, just because I just use a mild face wash in the shower, I don't know if I'll repurchase this one per se, but I do do really like it, and it's really mild, and if you do want it something for gentle or sensitive skin, I would recommend this product. So the next thing I am talking about is my Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup, and I am in the color 4N1 Shell Beige, if you are similar to my color. I did finish this up. It was the first foundation that I tried out here in London, and the reason I tried it out is because um, vlogger and blogger Anna Sacconi Jolie, she said that she lives by this, and as much as I love it, I actually really do love it. I love that it stays in place and really, really doesn't move all day, which is great when you're on the go and you don't want to touch up your makeup, but um, I just didn't feel like it gave me the coverage I was looking for. I wanted to have buildable coverage, and I like, um, you know, medium to fuller coverage if I'm gonna use a foundation. If I'm just using a BB cream or a CC cream, then sure, I want a more natural sheer finish. But if I do want a foundation, I guess I kinda want it to be more buildable. Um, yeah, so I do like it. I think I will repurchase it in the future. It's not a holy grail product for me. So um, I do encourage trying them out. They are a bit pricey. I think this was 30 pounds for um, 30 mil, so it's, pretty pricey, not gonna lie, but it is a designer or higher-end brand um, foundation, and I loved it, but again, not gonna repurchase it right this second. So, the next uh, product I used up is something that is a staple in my in my makeup collection. It is a staple in my everyday makeup as well, and it is the Spiked Eyebrow Pencil by MAC. I'm currently wearing it right now on my eyebrows as well. I just love this eyebrow pencil. I have tried to find dupes for this, everywhere. Like I really tried to find something cheaper so that I can have a dupe for it, but unfortunately I have not been able to truly duplicate this product. If you guys know dupes for MAC Spiked Eyebrow Pencil, please leave it in the comments below because I would love to not spend so much on an eyebrow pencil that lasts me only a month, maybe? Maybe. Because I use it every single day. I'm very, very, very particular about my eyebrows. If you know me or if you watch my channel, I really think a strong eyebrow is really the one thing I cannot leave the house without doing. Anyways, I love this product. This is like my 10th, I don't know. I've already repurchased it, so I've already have this in my collection again. So if you haven't tried out Max eyebrow pencils, they're great. Um, they are not the cheapest, but again, you pay for what you get, so I recommend it, and I've already repurchased it. And finally, the last product that I have to share with you guys today is um, a perfume. I actually finished an entire perfume, which is so shocking, because perfumes take forever to get through. So this perfume is by Lancome, and I'm going to butcher saying this name, but I will try. I always butcher every name, so you guys should be used to it by now. But it is the La Vie Est Belle, or La Vie Est Bella, and it is a great florally, um, very bright perfume. I'm not gonna try to describe the scent because I'm suck at that, but I loved it. I love that it was like florally, but also musky as well. So I think that it's perfect for not only daytime, everyday wear, but you could definitely wear this out at night as well. Um, I have finished it, I love it. Um, I will not be repurchasing it 
right away because I don't feel the need that I need to have this again that it's so so great um I will probably try another perfume I'm kind of like a a rotation on perfumes I never really repurchase the same perfume twice but that's just me um I think there's only one thing in my life perfume wise that I've ever purchased twice and that's Dolce & Gabbana light blue but for perfumes as far as it goes I just feel like there's so many out there and there's so many amazing scents that it's really really hard to repurchase the same perfume again and again for me at least I like having I know I have a signature scent but I also like changing it up so anyways great perfume check it out if you haven't already um, but yeah I finished a perfume which is exciting so guys that brings me to the end of this video I really hope you guys enjoyed watching everything that I've used up recently and I hope that you guys got some inspiration for trying out some new products because that's what I hope to share with all of you if you have tried out these products and you do like them or you dislike them please share in the comments below I love 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 hearing all feedback on all products and if you do have products that you've used up recently and you love and maybe you've created a video on it or a blog post or anything please link it down below I'll make sure to check it out I love seeing what other people are using up and um, yeah it's just so satisfying isn't it when you're done and you can throw away a product because I'm a product junkie and I have so many products and I keep buying more and more so it's really really nice when I'm done and I finish and I can definitely recycle or throw it away or whatever the case may be so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up um, share it if you think it's useful to share amongst your friends please leave a nice comment or any comment I like hearing all your guys' feedback on my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed and you're new to my channel and you've just come across this video, please hit the subscribe button. It is totally free and you would get all my videos straight to your video feed on your homepage. So that's all for now. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.